I'm literally choking on water right now, but I hope everyone else is doing fine. <clears throat> hey guys, um... Well, actually... N oh fuck, let me, let me actually swallow this first. Um... That sounds... Horrible out of context. Hello! Um, <laughs> <coughs> I, I promise I'm dying and not anything else. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up, actually. <laughs> Like, the cats are judging me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Cloud. How's your day been? Um, apparently I'm just starting off in Nuendos. But, uh, and, and the cats have left me. That's fair. Ah. <laughs> uh. I've been MIA for a little bit, so I'm just taking the first part of the stream to do a little, uh, a little catch up. Work is boring. Oh, can't relate. When work got boring for me, I quit. But um, I also have that privilege to quit when I'm bored of things. <sighs> I actually miss working though. Um, a lot of people tell me that they hate customer service and stuff. I loved it. Maybe it's because no one was ever mean to me, but I loved it. <laughs> uh, I, I used to make smoothies in, uh, I, <laughs> I'm always like, I shouldn't say where I used to live, people can find me, but then if you go on any of my social medias, I always say the city, it's Ottawa anyways, the capital city, it's not like you're gonna find me, I don't, I don't live there anymore, um, so I used to make smoothies in Ottawa, and where I used to work, I found out my manager told the security guards to tell the new security guards that I'm someone they have to watch out for and nothing bad can happen to me. So I, I had it pretty good at work. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, for anyone... Uh, well, my brain just stopped for a second. Hold on. For anyone... Where was I, where was I going with that? Nope. Oh, 
I remember what I was going to say now. Uh, no, it's gone. Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, I was I was on Instagram like just before this, uh, because I I've been on like a little emotional slash mental hiatus, and I was I I made a uh, swipe up question kind of thing that was like, yo, uh, what the fuck did I miss this last week? Or well, honestly, it's been like the last three weeks, but we don't talk about that. I was like, what what did I miss? And but anyone who doesn't follow me on Instagram, just the ones that I've responded to already, um, my dad is finally going to rot in jail. You left me on red longer than my now ex, LFAO. Uh, America apparently is bankrupt. Um, everyone, so many people are talking about Couch Guy. Uh, something about a cat. People saying that Fenty is gonna die in Genshin, which. I hope doesn't happen, but uh, if we destroy all the thrones, then it, it, it might. Uh, something about pacer test TikTok. Uh, <laughs> Nefid today. Yeah, um, I'll. That's what I was gonna talk about. Okay, I'll get to that soon. Hey Max. Uh, <laughs> apparently pacer tech. <clears throat> pa pacer pacer tech. Fuck. Pacer test TikTok is a thing, and. As it turns out, even though I am very unstable, I am not unstable enough to get onto that side of TikTok. I remember I was with Eli, Eli, Cass, and I believe Will. They were talking about something about a mushroom song, and Eli was like, Yo, Thomas, this map reminds me of the mushroom song. And I was like, What's that? And Eli was like, Don't fuck with me, I know you're that. They literally literally said, I that unstable, you have to be on Mushroom TikTok. I was like, what's Mushroom TikTok? So, so Eli asked Will and Cass, yo, have you guys heard the Mushroom song on TikTok? And they're like, yeah, I love that song. I'm just like, what fucking song? And I, I know they were joking around, but I think Eli genuinely believed that I was lying to them and it's just, what, what the fuck is the Mushroom song? So, uh, the pace of test is like every four videos for you. Oh, God. Yeah, so I looked it up. It's basically like the uh, the cupcake, base and cream. Uh, I know there was another one. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> so I'm like, bro. I mean, to be fair, if we, if we were to be more uh, by the book, my mental breakdown was more of an emotional breakdown. So I'm on like emotional trauma TikTok and they're on uh, mentally ill TikTok, if that makes more sense. <laughs> Speaking of mentally ill, hi Mel. Oh, that's rude. I'm I'm not taking that back, but hi Mel. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, I don't know about the mushroom song, but there's uh, a F mushroom TikTok. I do not know about that. Um... Unless you t unless you're talking about actual shrooms, in that case, yes, keep keep going. <laughs> uh, your goal is to keep Cass on Little Lad TikTok. Funnily enough, even though I know about Little Lad TikTok because of, I see a lot of people fighting over Cupcake versus Little Lad. Uh, I almost never got Little Lad TikToks. It was only ever my friends and other people on TikTok who were sending me it, but on my actual for you page. Um, I don't know what that says about me, but it, I never got them. Actual mushrooms, okay. Oh, and also Mel, how did you sleep? Cause, uh, I mean, I, I love talking about horror stories and stuff, and so the fact that you brought up Bloody Mary, I mean, come on. I mean, you brought up Queen Mary, but Queen Mary is the influence behind Bloody Mary, but still. Like, <laughs> I hope, I hope you didn't have any nightmares, uh, because... Yeah, I hate nightmares actually. Despite despite my love for horror, nightmares fucking. I am glad that TikTok exists because everyone I've talked to in person thinks I'm crazy when I say this. I I can get hurt in my dreams. 
I can feel pain. And so with my actual nightmares, if I get stabbed a bit or like thrown off a building, I wake up and my back is aching. So I'm glad TikTok exists and like there's people out there who are like, yeah, no, this happens to me too. But for the longest time, everyone was just like, Thomas, you're probably possessed. Thomas, that's not normal. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, you slept. You never have trouble sleeping after watching stuff like that. You know, that's fair. That's fair. You actually- Yeah, you love Night- Oh. I love Nightmare on Elm Street, but I, I don't think I can do actual nightmares. I think the last nightmare I had, um... Actually, no, I'm not gonna say it. That- I No, no. <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, I guess the last nightmare I had was when I was in Dinorampa. And it it was like Dinorampa, uh, the anime. I was in the 77th class, and it was normal, it was fun, it was- I, I loved it. Up until, you know, the spirit started kicking in, and, uh, you know, we, we went looking for Miss Chisa, we, we found the underground, and uh, we, we saw something on the TVs. That that part was traumatizing, so I don't think that's actually really a nightmare. Or just, um, my mental state. Um, <laughs> uh, what was that bra TikTok you posted a few days ago? What that bra TikTok? Uh, oh, yeah, okay, so in my, uh, in my emotionally damaged state, I saw this TikTok, um, that was like, this bra acts like a binder, and, you know, it's made as a bra, so it's not supposed to hurt you, and the fact that it kind of binds, I thought that was cool. So, even though I'm not talking to anyone directly, I might as well post it to my story in case, um, someone wants to see it, and, um, they don't. Because I usually, see, like, I mass send TikToks on my main account, so, like, everyone sees what I see, uh, so I decided to post it on my Instagram story, and obviously the the next day my DMs were flooded with "Tell me the fucking link, give me the fucking link," and I was like, "Bro, I I don't know what the link is. I just saw the TikTok, but um, I it was pretty easy. They said the they said where the uh, bra came from, and you know they used uh, reference photos, so I just you know matched that. It it was pretty easy. Uh, yeah. So for anyone who is uh. Not Sorry, my brain doesn't like terms. Um, female to male, AFAB, AFAB. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my brain, my brain stopped working for a second. So, anyone who's AFAB, I posted that on my tick, uh, my Instagram, and so many people were like, "Yo." Give me the link. I want to bind, but I don't want the binder. And like, it's a bra, and it's. Just, I was like, okay. I I thought that was helpful, and you know, it was. So I feel good about myself, kind of. Not really. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was like the last three weeks. I'm just like, I'm depressed. Everything sucks. This fucking sucks. I hate you all. Here's a bra TikTok. I hate you all again. <laughs> <coughs> but my emotions. Um. Have died down a little, so I'm just bottling that up all again. Uh, so I can act pretty normal again. <laughs> uh, but that honestly was a lot of bullshit. I mean, I've told a few people because a few people actually like try to call me, and you know, if you send me a message, I'm not gonna answer that. But if you send me a, a if you call me, I feel bad for not answering. So I do answer those if anyone ever needs to hear that. So what had happened was someone, I won't name who, went through all my stuff and you can say, no, they didn't, you have no proof. Uh, my journal has the leather bound thing where you can like wrap it around and tie it and that is the best part about this book. The best part is to actually tie it. So I know I didn't like accidentally forget to do that because again, it's so fun to just like wrap around and tie it like all my secrets are in here. Like, uh, the, the entrance to Atlantis is in here, I must keep the secret, all that, you know, you, it's fun. It's fun to use the rope. <sighs> Again, out of context, that sounds so bad, but honestly, uh, 
I I stand by it. Love the rope is fun to. <laughs> I can't I can't finish that. <laughs> uh, late my three a.m. or your three a.m. because I don't an even though I do answer calls. Uh, I'm going to yell at you if it's my three a.m. because I do like to sleep. But if your three a.m. is like. Like that's that's nine. That's not bad. But yeah. So uh, someone had gone through all my stuff, and what they forgot to do was to wrap my book up again. So when I opened my drawer, my book was just undone. And you can you can say, oh, maybe like when you're opening and closing the drawer over the last few days, the the rope undid itself. The rope was undone, and the entirety of it was under the book. So like if the if the top part had just come come loose, that'd be fine. But it was completely unwrapped and folded underneath the book like you can't that's not gravity you went through my fucking stuff so uh that was an invasion of privacy that i was not having that day so uh the mental state was not there <laughs> but yeah uh i feel i mean i don't feel better i still want justice but uh i am stable enough not to complain as much uh but going back to my Instagram story, because some of y'all are fucking wild. Um, so yeah, Pacer Test TikTok. The next thing I saw was um, one of my uh, friends. Uh, I mean, I knew them in university. Does that count? Uh, one of my friends uh, is auditioning for a role where his ass is shown. But the thing is, I thought they were against the whole like display of nudity and and like explicitness so i'm very confused about that like i get actors like you know the character isn't me but uh y you know i yeah and then there are things that i actually haven't replied to yet oh actually i want to talk about this though twitch streamers income got leaked i saw mel post that in the server i didn't look at it because obviously i wasn't looking at things at the time but then Max sent this, and it's just like, oh, well, fuck. So I I looked at I looked at it, and uh, in the last two years, some streamers make one point five billion. That's I feel like that's so invasive. But also, I that's something I would that's something that I always wanted to know, like how much did you actually make? But that's so invasive. Like, <laughs> like I, I'll tell you straight up, if this becomes a thing, I will tell you guys how much I'm making, because bitch, I love numbers. If you guys, <laughs> Mel, Mel is on my server, they know how tedious I am with like, making sure the roles work the way they are, making sure each category has channels for specific things. I'm very great at organization and numbers, so even if no one asks me for my income, I will just like say it just because I find that like a fun thing to know. But um I understand for like other people that's so fucking invasive. Uh gotta get you sponsored soon then. <laughs> uh sponsored for what though? For fucking Oh wait, hold on. Uh for everyone new here, uh just in case you haven't seen this in a while too, I have a VDA, Fuse Discretion is advised. Viewers may be exposed to uh, shouting, vulgar language, sensitive topics, potentially tricky topics such as suicide and death, and much more. Um, so that is a heads up. Uh, the VDA is on a timer. I just raised it because the people who usually come to my streams have been here for a long time. Uh, but yeah, what I was going to say is, what are they going to be sponsored for? Suicide prevention? <laughs> uh, but yeah, um... See, I just think it's very invasive that all the numbers got leaked, but also I find it very interesting because I do like to know things and, you know, fuck, three million dollars in the last two years. <sighs> yeah, wow, well, you know? <sighs> mm, and for anyone new coming in, or just Mel, because I haven't, uh... You have a VDA? Never knew! Yeah, Max. It's like you're so new to my streams. Like I, 
I should have done this sooner. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, even though I would like that to appear more often, I don't always talk about suicide and death. It's just like, you know, I don't need it to just be there. Oh, and then the last thing that I replied to right before streaming is some motherfucker. Some motherfucker was like, my favorite cosplayer take the ice pack for a chilled cosplay so now I hate everything. Bitch, drop the at. Drop the fucking at. Expose them. Fight them. Destroy them. You don't do that shit. And then there's like a few others that I haven't responded to yet because I don't want to spam my story. But uh, just the ones I haven't uh, answered yet, we have people asking for the update on the dash is going to prison. Bitch, I, wanna, I want that update too, but also I'm not going to post that. Uh, if, you, if you answer my story, then I'm going to post your story reply. But if you DM me it, I'm not going to say that for everyone else. Like... Yikes, and then we also have someone saying that the creepy co-worker is trying to get them drunk. And that they found the Zodiac Killer, apparently. I... And then there's like, uh... Someone saying that I'm a father figure, which is... Very unsettling when you realize how unhinged I am, and how I basically tell you to fight everyone and everything. Um... We have someone talking about Mercury Retrograde and how I didn't tell them what it was. Uh, Sean Mendes did a lie detector test. Uh, someone else destroyed the knee so now we're twinning. And uh, something about someone dying which I'm not going to read on stream. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I left I left Instagram, uh, social media kind of, for like two, three weeks, and I come back to everyone just dumping their secrets on me. I mean, I did tell them to tell me the gossip, but, uh, that gossip is very, uh, what the fuck, you know? Yeah, yeah, my entire life, I've gotten, like, <sighs> hold on, that was disgusting. Um, my entire life, when, like, Ben Gooch would do that whole uh, mother, father, son, daughter thing. I was always the uncle or the astray cousin or the like, more so like the adventurous uncle who like comes like once every year and has like artifacts to give as gifts and then disappears on a mission and is never heard from again. Um, but people are saying father, and I I know for a fact in um. In some of my TikToks and DMs, people do think of me as like a father, and it's very unsettling because, um, <laughs> especially the ones who come from TikTok, the ones who see me cosplaying people like Dobby, Shoto, Suko, <laughs> um, all the unstable characters, and they're like, you're like a father to me. Um, I don't really do out of con out of cosplay content anymore, so it's just like, um. You, you really find someone who would burn you for staring at them the wrong way. A father figure. I mean, you do you. Uh, if it gets me views and shit, then uh, you know what? I At this point, there are some things that happen that I just can't... I can fight and I will fight against it, but realistically, I can't fight against them anymore. Like, it's been over a year since I went pastel. And I still get the occasional, you're such a soft boy comment. Like, the genuine, you're such a soft boy. Um, and for anyone anyone who's new or doesn't know why I get the soft boy vibe, because I haven't been like that soft aesthetic in like a year, a literal year. Um, I was playing with scissors on a live stream. <laughs> I was in my pastel hoodie. I had my pastel green hair. And I was playing with scissors. I was talking about cutting my tongue off. I had the scissors at my mouth. And the people in the live stream jokingly said, Wow, you're such a soft boy. And in my videos to come, in the TikToks to come, they would use that joke, You're such a soft boy, lol. But because around that time I was also blowing up because of my OCs, people would see that, 
see like my OCs being like crazy fun, ex ex extroverted, haha. <laughs> and then like, you know, see the pastel hair and like the pastel hoodie and they're like, oh, he's an actual soft boy. Okay, this is a good vibe. And then it's just like, what did you guys do? What did you do? So now we have people who actually think I'm a soft boy, people who joke about it, and people who see this discourse in my comment sections and shit who are just like, is he soft? You know, I can, I kind of see it. And it's just like, y'all, y'all. Do, do I need to do the VDA again? I literally talk about death and suicide on a regular basis. I, if, if you consider that soft, then okay, but uh, y'all. So yeah, it's just, it's just kind of something that I can fight against it all I want. I can tell people I'm not soft all I want, but I think that's just gonna be there. I think a better example of that is uh, Shamrock's luck in the color green. I went into TikTok not talking about any of that. It was my, it was the friends that I've made, the mutuals that I made, and the people who saw me who were like, "Wow, you're so lucky." Uh, wow, luck. Wow, that's that's such a convenient thing to happen. You're so lucky. It was my followers who associated me with the shamrock and stuff, which was funny because in real life, that is something that people associate with me with. So it's just like, if it works, it works, you know? I guess this is just my aesthetic. Uh, but I didn't like go into this being like, I'm going to use this as my thing. So that was fun. Uh, it's an aesthetic that I like because I know I know some people get <laughs> they have like a whole aesthetic planned out, but then when people actually see them, they're like, "This doesn't fit you. I think this is better." And it's something they absolutely hate. It's the most hilarious thing to me, but um, <laughs> it's 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 horrible. But uh, I <laughs> like uh, like imagine you hate red, you despise the color red. But people look at you and go, no, your aesthetic is red. <laughs> You're one of those liquor chocolates that looks sweet on the outside and... <laughs> but for a mature audience on the inside... <laughs> you know what? I see that. I see... Fuck. <laughs> it's okay, but... <laughs> I just, I just had a memory unlocked, so I don't know if this is like a thing only in Canada, but uh, uh we have uh, Teacher's Day where like, you know, you celebrate the teachers, but if you want to go the extra step, you give your teachers gifts. So one year, I gave my teacher alcoholic chocolates in the shape of alcohol bottles. So... Um, if, if any writers or directors are here, I think that's pretty much foreshadowing, you know, giving, giving someone literal alcoholic chocolates as a, you know, in school, I was in, uh, grade school, so a minor giving an adult alcoholic chocolates on a appreciation day. I think that's very fitting for my entire personality. <laughs> Oh god, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> but also, chocolate, I am not opposed to being sponsored by that or associated by that. Fucking hit me up, fucking, uh, Lindor, uh, Pharaoh Roche, uh, what, uh, Hershey, oh, if Hershey sponsors me, that would <laughs> Oh, okay, and okay, I'm gonna really quickly cut back to it, but um, the thing you see up here, I actually, this is because of the Genshin fandom. <laughs> so, uh, what me and Elliot were doing uh, previously was that we were using the basic Discord overlay where it says our name every time we talk. But like, that was kind of boring, and when it's just me and Eli, um, when it's just me and Eli, you know who's talking if you know my voice and on my stream like if you're on my stream you know my voice so it's just like yeah that was kind of boring but then for the last month or two i've been seeing genshin impact cosplayers uh streamers uh 
the voice actors specifically, they use this uh, reactive image Discord overlay. That's the name of it, reactive images. Um, they've been using this to live stream with uh, uh, Erica for Fenty, uh, Zach and Sarah for Ether and Lumine. Uh, they've been using these reactive things, and on stream they said this. It's called the reactive image overlay. So I looked into it, and it's so cool. You can do this for everyone, and unlike the <laughs> unlike the basic Discord overlay, each person can customize their own image and send that to you. I know for the Discord overlay, um, you can just make your own, but people usually just have one link and that's it. But for uh, the Discord uh, reactive images, you can make your own, you can change the sizes, you can edit it so that yours doesn't bounce like mine does every time I stop talking. Like this. And you can change the images so that, you know, you have a talking screen and an off screen. And then you also have it so that you can change it so that it dims or if it doesn't dim. Again, I, I love tinkering with things and if I have to be honest, in the last three weeks, the most, uh, the most serotonin I got was playing with this and seeing what reactive images I wanted to use. <laughs> and another thing with this is that um, it's linked directly to your Discord account. So with the Discord overlay, the basic one, that's linked to the actual voice channel. So you have to make a new one for each voice channel you want to use. With this, as long as you're in a voice channel, it's going to work and I, I'm just a bit of a nerd if you haven't realized. <laughs> I, I love this kind of stuff. It's... Uh, um, anyways... <laughs> oh, God. I am going to take a breath just because I realized I wasn't breathing for the last uh, five minutes. But yeah, because this is hooked up to Discord, even though you can hear me on stream, because you know I have the noise gain on OBS, I don't have that gain on Discord, so sometimes when I'm talking it's still gonna turn off, but you know, it's still pretty fucking awesome. Uh, so no Minecraft- oh fuck, yeah, we're supposed to do Minecraft. <laughs> I literally have it loaded in the background. Um, I had one more thing to say though. Uh, I just I just wanted to do a little catch up because I didn't I didn't really do that in my last stream. I I didn't even look back at the last stream because I knew the entire time I was just like I'm just here. I'm just here because I know I'm supposed to stream today and I I didn't send the I'm not streaming today message soon enough so I'm I'm just going to be here. This can be a placeholder. That was pretty shitty of me. I apologize for that. Um because oh, another thing that people associate with me is just magnetism and influencing um just being near me apparently your mood is affected so when i'm happy people are happy and when i'm sad people are just obligated to feel sad i don't i i i i understand that because i've seen it happen to people but when people actually tell me that i can influence other people just by not even saying anything just by feeling sad that's kind of sketchy that sketches me out, cause like, what if I'm just homicidal one day? Am I gonna like influence someone to murder? In in the court of law, if someone I know tries to kill someone, are they gonna be like, I didn't kill them on my own card. I killed them because Thomas influenced me by existing. Like, is that gonna be a thing? And that might sound extreme, but uh. I've had I've had people try to use me as like an example of why they shouldn't be in trouble. And it's the most wild thing, but um yeah. It it happens. <coughs> I hate to say that, but you know, shit like that just happens sometimes. Hmm. <laughs> And also, Max, I keep saying that I'll talk to you after stream and I keep forgetting, um, so I'm just gonna say it now. Do you wanna be a mod? Uh, because you're pretty chill. You come to a lot of streams, you don't come to all of them, but you know, the ones that you do come to, you're pretty respectful. And honestly, that respect, I don't, 
in, in the nicest way possible, I'm not trying to call anyone else out, but in the nicest way possible, that respect, that's pretty hard to come by. So like, if you want to be a mod, let's, let me know. Uh, you're definitely on my list of people to hit up that I, you know, just haven't been able to hit up because depression. But uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> ah, fuck, what was that last thing I was going to say? Uh, oh, Eli, fuck, that's why, that's, 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 that's right. Fucking, I need to learn how to pronounce my R's. Uh, uh, I have no clue what's going on with them because I haven't been mentally stable in the last three weeks, but, uh, I really want to finish Pico Park. So I, so that is, a, that is going to be a potential stream, but also I really really want to try Monster Prom. I know I talked about doing it with Cass. The only problem is Cass typically is only free on either weekday nights or weekend mornings, which is not my schedule. So I really need to make new friends. Uh. <laughs> oh, and also shout out to Founding Clouds. I don't know if they're still here, but they followed me because of, uh, uh, they, I was on Cass's stream and, you know, they were on their stream. I thought Cloud was pretty fucking chill. So, uh, thank you for that if you're still here. If you're not, um, you know, if you watch the VOD, thank you. Uh, uh yeah. Uh, that sounds cool, but I'm a bit tech impaired, so I need to learn how to mod. Um, okay, I'm not gonna try to convince you, but in, uh, in the simplest sense, if someone does something bad, uh, my auto mod potentially my auto mod will catch it like a like swearing or like uh, just a rude word. Sometimes auto mod will catch that and it will show the mods, hey, this message was uh, detected. And then all you gotta do is click yes or no to accept that message to be seen by everyone or deny that message to you know just not exist anymore. Um, in terms of like banning and timing out people, I think my Nightbot, my stream elements, and just myself would be good enough. Um, I don't think, especially because I also have it to where only my followers can message me, so that, you know, to, to follow someone is like a big step for a lot of people and they don't like to do that. So I don't think we'd have to time out or ban anyone. Unless we get another situation where, uh... I, I told myself that I wasn't going to name drop them anymore. So, um, if you get another situation where it's like, the reason why I have that highlight of you shouldn't follow me because of other creators. Um, if someone tries to follow me because of another creator and acts like I'm Sid creator, we might need to time them out. Because that, that was just shitty of them. I'm not even gonna try to sugarcoat it, be like, oh, maybe they miss on the hood, maybe they're just a child. I that was shitty of them, regardless of your age. You shouldn't act like someone else is someone else. Um But yeah, uh I think I said everything I wanted to say. Uh hmm. Yeah, honestly, if if I think of anything else, I'll just say it towards the end or during the stream. But uh what happened? Oh god, what happened in Minecraft? So, because uh, we couldn't find a nether fur just the first time, I was like, oh, I was like, yo, um, let's go into a creative world and do slash locate because I'm not fucking with this. Um, so I made a creative world, I made another portal, I went in, I did slash locate. The closest one is like 500 blocks out or something. Uh, so I go back to my world, I start building a bridge all the way over to the nether virtues because like next time i'm in my the next time i'm in minecraft um i don't want to be blocking the entire time i just want to explore you know what i usually do where i do mining and stuff off stream so i was like yo i'm gonna build a bridge and we're gonna stop at the nether virtues however what i failed to uh take into account was you know the fucking ghast and I think you I think you know where this is heading so I was building a bridge 
over a lava pool, which I actually did without any problem. The gas just didn't spawn in. But then I was like, wow, I said out loud, wow, the gas didn't spawn in. And you know me, when I say something, I jinx it. So that's when a bunch of gas popped up and I got blown off the edge. However, I landed on Basil. I landed on some kind of land. I blocked myself in and I logged out. Because if I was gonna fucking die, I was at least going to die on stream. So, mm. without further ado, we are going to see if I survive the nether. Uh, hmm. Because, uh, although the smart move would be to go home, I really want to just get to the nether fortress. I'm like 300 uh, blocks away still, but bitch, the fact that I'm going to probably die doing it, I want to at least try. So let me uh, edit this transform real quick. Uh, it gets popcorn. Uh, so let's do uh, 300 by 300. How's that sound? 300 by 300. Not too big. Hmm. Let's try 100 then. Uh, transform. Edit. Oh, that's position. Okay, I'm stupid. I, I did the wrong thing. Uh, hmm. Do, 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 do. Let's do 300 by 300. I fucked that up again. I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> I edited the wrong uh, screen. Hold on, here we are. <laughs> Is that... Are we going to work this time? <laughs> This is fucking stupid. It's what I am. Uh, let's make that bigger. Oh, but uh, I don't know if that was like an ant, like your silence was an answer for like no. Uh, but if you do want to be a mod and just like not, you know, not know how to like block people or time out people, uh, just let me know. But um, yeah. Uh, let me really quickly fix that because oh fuck, I oh. Fucking fuck, I fucked up, I fucked up. I edited the Kofi notification instead of the, uh, the fucking overlay. So now my thing is off balanced. It's, I fucked that up horribly. Hold on, I'm, and the thing I did with my screens is that, uh, do, 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 do. I made it so that each of my screens were the same exact thing, um, regardless of what screen I was on. So when I transform one, I transform them all. Oh god. Uh, I think I fixed it. Um, alright, now let me change the stream to minecraft um and also something i wanted to try out was putting the lgbtq tag on i don't do it because um i'm kind of fucked up and usually the, the, the streamers that i see in the lgbtq tag usually are like oh this is a safe space no one's gonna get hurt i won't trigger anyone so soft soft vibes and i'm, I'm screaming the entire time so i i feel like people are not going to enjoy seeing me in the lgbtq tag but also um one of my friends was like yo you might get more views if if people have that tag on you and you know you are a part of the community it's not like you're lying it's just like i i guess i i've def i in my head, um, in my mod, in, in my, <laughs> sorry, I read your message, in my mod, <laughs> uh, in my head, the LGBT tag is just full of people who are, like, very not me, um, not aggressive, uh, in, in, in the sense of TikTok, um, submissive, 
Uh, I I hate the fact that I just said that word. <laughs> um. Anyways, let's move to Minecraft. <laughs> uh. But yeah, remod, sure thing. All right. Um. I have no clue how to do this on stream, but let's see if I can. Uh. I do, I do not want to. Oh. There we go. Mod max voltage. I almost blocked you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <coughs> so beside everyone's name, you're now going to see a. You're going to see, fuck. You're going to see three icons: the block, the timer, and the delete. Uh, the trash can. Um, the block is going to. Uh, what does that do actually? The block is going to ban that user. The timer is going to time them out, and the delete button is just going to delete their message. Um, do be careful because you can, you can block, uh, stream elements on Nightbot. I have done that by accident because I, I was testing to see if mods can block each other. Um, you can. So just be wary of that because, uh, <laughs> that, <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, uh, so for anyone uh, oh, I love that that you have a little sword thing now. That's cool. <laughs> Anyways, uh, for anyone who is seeing this on the VOD or anyone who's coming in now, what happened was I got blown off the fucking bridge. And I'm fucking pissed because, uh, okay, let's just look at how much food and shit I have right now. Um, I have nine fucking dice left. <laughs> my pickaxe is almost broken, so I'm going to have to use my diamond one. I don't have that many blocks I don't want to build of netherrack we don't have many blocks left and I did replace my water with milk before coming here because I knew you know water did. so this is where we're at I put myself in a hole because um I shall use this power wisely my liege thank you my servants uh fuck ooh the electro knight I like the sound of that uh cuz max voltage Voltage electric, you are the. Hi, are you going to kill me? You are the electro knight. Uh, I fucked up already. Okay, um. So my my fucking bridge is all the way up there. See, I was doing like I was doing a three by three, and this is actually a tunnel. I'm not sure how I didn't get blown up before, um. I fucking jinxed it because now I'm down here. Uh, what? 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 Oh, that's just where I got blown off. I was like, why is there a floating block? Um, but anyways, uh, this is where I got blown up. Uh, we can't see any of the gas and shit because I need to have my render distance low because uh, I'm I'm on a laptop and I can't function properly. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Something that I was planning to do was only doing mods after, like, uh, like uh, affiliate, I guess. Because, you know, with affiliate, that's like 50 people. So, like, the ratio of that would be me and you being mods. That's like two people against 25 plus anyone else, anyone else who I decided to make a mod. But then, um, a bunch of people started following me, but a lot of them. <laughs> A bunch of the people that were following me and chatting in stream have left, actually. There's just like a lot of new people coming in and out. It's like, I might need some help later down the line, especially when my laptop decides to not, you know, function and my second screen decides to just not work. But, uh, yeah. Uh,. So yeah, this is the little bridge that I had. Um, I was building it up, but then I was like, it was it was at this point, at this point right here, where I was like, I have not seen a single fucking gas. I'm just gonna build one side over. So I did it one side over, and then I realized, huh, I'm running out of blocks. Maybe I should go down. So I went down, and that's when a gas fucking spawned on this side. And so I ran, I was like, fuck it, fuck it, we're over lava, but if I can die on land, uh, I, I can be at peace. So I like that, and then I blown up. 
I got blown the fuck up. So yeah. That's a thing. Also, this magma cube, so... Ugh, life is not good for us right now. Actually, it's pretty good, if I'm being honest. Um, you know, uh, Harley is actually answering the phone. Not Actually, that's a lie. They stopped answering the phone uh, this week. Because uh, life is getting to them. But uh, life is pretty good. Uh, Ray. Ray actually invited me to Thanksgiving again. I... I told them that I wasn't going to come to Thanksgiving because, uh, you know, I don't know what my mental state is going to be like in a few days. Uh, I just woke up really happy today, which was, you know, a good thing. But, uh, yeah, you know, uh, so that is on the table for me. I'm, I want to take them up on the offer because Thanksgiving with Ray is always fun. Um, and if you don't know, yes, I am, <laughs> I am that friend TM who has Thanksgiving with their friend's family. <laughs> um, uh, her her mother actually was the one who invited me this year. Uh, I mean, they she she always wants me to come over, but like this year, it was like, hey, invite Thomas. Uh, that so that was nice. But uh, I'm not sure if my mental state can handle. Uh, doing uh, people right now. Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe. It's this weekend. As long as no one like fucks over my mental state, I might be like, yo, uh, can I pop by? I'll, I'll bring pizza. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think this is like the first, no, this is gonna be the second Thanksgiving that I've missed with Ray. I remember the first Thanksgiving we did. I actually recorded it, a uh, part of it, anyways. Uh, they made this um mash marshmallow potato mash potato marshmallow thingy. It was fucking god tier. I want more of that. Um, just try not to jinx it. Yeah, the fucking thing is, um, every time I say something, it either comes to reality or the exact opposite comes to reality. So it's just like, I really shouldn't be like, I really shouldn't joke about things, yet I still do it. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Ugh. God. For some reason, I've been rigging up with, like, cat hairs stuck in my throat. Um, I say for some reason, as if I don't, like, my sibling's cat like a good solid 30 minutes per stream um and also it'd be nice to hang out with people unlike last year um actually um because uh all my friends in Ottawa were um they they were very about going out uh the friends I had left in Ottawa because Ottawa isn't like a you live there just to live there state place. It's more you you live there to go to school or work. Um, a lot of them were either in uh, work where like they had to make sure you were doing um, proper uh, sanitation, and others just like hi, hi. Um, uh, uh, uh. Don't see me. Don't look at me. I don't exist to you. I'm a I'm a ghost. Um. A lot of them were just very careful about COVID, and so uh, a lot of us were like, yo, <laughs> you're not sick, I'm not sick, we don't think you're sick, you guys want to just have a little Thanksgiving together? And uh, we did that, it was it was nice. Uh, I actually did that the first year at university too, um, just you know, I, I much prefer when friends do Thanksgiving than uh, family, because, you know, with friends, you want them to be there. With family, it's just like, oh, this is just mandatory family time. But yeah. Oh. But, I, but because of your comment, I'm going to assume that you haven't, uh, you weren't with people last year? How was last year Thanksgiving for everyone if, uh, if you want to respond? Because last year Thanksgiving, it wasn't the best because, you know, um, the stores were crowded, um, even though no one was supposed to be outside, unless it was, uh, unless you had to. Uh! 
uh, because no one had to be outside unless you had to. Um, a lot of the things that we got were like, just like basic school snacks because we didn't want to fight for a turkey. We didn't um, have time to be like, oh, this potato seems good. Oh wait, the place that it came from was a farm that had COVID. Never mind. So we just got like packaged things. It it wasn't the best, but nice, um, to just be with people around that time, especially because um, there's a lot of panic in October. Um, October. <laughs> yeah, a lot of panic where people were like. A lot of my friends who were like, Thomas, it's stupid that you dropped out, um, were actually dropping out of school because they, they just did not know what was going to happen. Oh, oh, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, so I was, um, I looked back at one of the VODs. We, yeah, VOD, um, I never answered your question. Yeah, no, I dropped out completely. Um, I say that. However, it turns out, well, like, a few months after I dropped out, I was still able to access my student account, which I, you you know, I thought you were supposed to delete my account information, but I guess they didn't. So, um, a few months after I had dropped out, I, I could still touch it, so, potentially what they did, I was like, yeah, I'm going to drop out. To each of those fucking faculty members who were like, so, the university I went to, I'm not sure if it's different for everyone. Oh, I actually, I want that, I want that. Um, I'm not sure if it's different for everyone else, but my university, you had to go through like several different facilities um, before being, before you were allowed to actually drop out. So, that entire day, I was walking around campus, talking to people, being like, yes, I actually want to drop out. Yes, I know this is the right decision. You, just like I, I had to tell so many people that. But each time they were like, "Are you sure? Do you like? Do you maybe want to like um? Do you like uh? Do you do you, you want to just put your account on uh on suspension or like just you know a little timeout uh because you know like you can always come back." And the person who went on my account like after I had gone through all of them to be like, "Yes, I want to drop out." The last person, the one who actually like typed it in and like put in my information was like are you sure you don't want to drop uh, just spend your account but it, they, they were like suggesting it in a way that was like I, I'm not so it's just like you know what potentially potentially that person uh did that bad and actually didn't drop me out so uh but but officially um until I decide to go back or something Officially speaking, I am a dropout. Uh, which a lot of people, um, a lot of people like to say, "Oh, that's so bad. You you are throwing away your life." I was I was happy in university. I won't lie, but it was so boring. Um, because my oh hi my uh. My teacher in high school used to be like a university teacher or had like uni university level training and they taught me so much in the two years that um, I was this student and it, it's just a lot of people are like yeah uh, first year university is just introduction it actually picks up in second year it, it did not pick up in second year everything that I it wasn't even just my classes. I was that person who would go to my classes to, just to hang out with them. Um, in my friends' classes, who were in different fields of psychology, I knew everything already, and it, it was just a little too boring. And then a lot of people argue, like, why don't you just fast track? Fast tracking is the stupidest thing you can do um, if you're not, like, extremely smart. And I am smart, I will admit that. However, even though even though the things that I'm learning, I already know. Um, it's always good to learn them again. It was just that the pace that we were going at too was so, it was so slow. Um, the one thing I didn't know, um, we were, we were learning about, uh, fuck, what was it? 
I don't remember exactly what we were learning about, but we were learning about something that I didn't know. We spent like one week on that, but you know what we spent two fucking months on? We spent two months on um the nine different types of intelligences, and it's just like, bro, out of everything, don't you think the thing that literally everyone is asking questions about is the thing that you spend more time on? Um, I missed that. Fuck. Uh, so it's just like the way it was also laid out was not up to uh up to the speed that i needed it to be they spent too much time on the things i already knew and not enough time on the things i didn't so if i do go back to university it will have to be with a um a different program a program where uh i'm actually going back to the overworld to get more cobblestone uh it will have to be to a uh, it's this way. I'm stupid. It would have to be to a different school. <laughs> like, I liked my school. It was fun. I love, um, the way it was made. And the, uh... Be careful. The, uh... T t the, the, the tunnel system that I... That, uh, they had. And, like, the community vibes. The restaurants they had on campus. Um, the teachers were fun, too. Uh... But, yeah, it was just... The way the curriculum was laid out was just not for me, and honestly, I've had more fun. I think the reason why I found it fun was just because I wasn't home. Because when I dropped out and spent like a year and a half, two years, just in Ottawa working, I found that extremely fucking fun too. Um, just being by myself. Uh, so yeah, I don't regret it a lot of people have told me that i will regret it or like a few months later you're gonna regret it or like down the line you're gonna regret it i don't at the very most maybe in the future i might want to go back again but to say that i regret dropping out would be a lie um because again it's been almost two i think it's been two years by now since i've dropped out and i probably one of the best decisions i've ever made I don't know. School is not for everyone, so I understand in that sense, I am not going to be someone uh, parents-like because even though I sound like super educated, even though I sound like um, I have a degree, a lot of people, um, a lot of people who know I'm not in school anymore always forget that I didn't finish school because of all the other facts that I just because between dimensions legs out the stream okay a moment Oh, the last part of what I said, um, <laughs> basically what I said was like, I was going to stop talking just because I know it's going to lag out. <laughs> so, uh, right now I'm, right now I'm just, uh, looking at OBS to see, um, I'm not going to go back to what I was saying until I get past 15 frames and here we are. Okay. So basically what I was saying was that, uh, a lot of people think I'm really educated because of the way I talk about college and stuff and like. The way I'm able to read people, kind of like an open book. The way I'm able to uh, process things uh, in the way that uh, supposedly only business majors are process things. Like, what do you mean by that? Um, a lot of people just look at me and think, he went to school. And it's just like, I didn't. It's just the fact that the teachers I had have been amazing. Um, 
I actually thought about it. Um, if I had to think anyone for, if I had to think any one teacher for the amount I know about, life, I have the I without a doubt I have that teacher in mind <laughs> because they didn't like. They didn't like spew random facts about life just like really nilly and like just random life stories. Um, the the life stories they told, the facts about life that they told, they all related that they all related that back to the lesson that we were learning. Even though seemingly we got off topic from the curriculum by not finishing like the movie by like not that day, um. Everything that was said in that class, she she prepared us amazingly for it, and I am grateful for that teacher. But I am not educated. I uh I am a dropout. The most I have is a high school diploma and one and a half years of university in my belt on my belt in my belt. Uh, yeah, so. That's what I, and then, you know, I went through another portal, and then I said that I was going to not finish what I was saying until the frames got back up, and then that's when you said, uh, there, that there were no frames, so, <laughs> do, do do let me just do that. Uh, there was something else that I wanted to add to that, though, I thought I broke that for a second. Uh, fuck, what else was okay. Um... Yeah, a lot of people look at me like educated, and on that aspect, I can teach people a lot of things. And so maybe if uh, I say if my audience, my audience used to be a lot of older people, like uh, you know, my age, maybe in their like thirties and forties. I had someone in there, uh, I want to say at least fifties, uh, uh, watch me on TikTok, which was nice. They were. I, I enjoy talking to older people. Uh, I spent my entire life with older siblings and their friends, so I'm very comfortable with older people. Um, so, yeah, that was it was nice to talk to them, but as time went on, and as, you know, TikTok, uh, when, when you blow up, you can't exactly say for sure where your videos are going. So when I blew up, um, with my Suko videos, uh, back two years ago, wait, one year, wait, one or two years ago, I do not know, but when that blew up, um, a lot of people, uh, ended up being Trojan, which was, it, it was, it was nice, I guess, you know, get the current demographic, but, uh, uh, children frightened me, if, if that wasn't very obvious, um, <laughs> Uh, the, the very uh, opinionated in the worst way possible. <laughs> so yeah, uh, when those kids started following me, it's just like I am not some. That's why I have the VDA. With adults, I can be like, "Yo, I talk about death and suicide a lot," and they'd be like, "Well, oh, fucking me too, bitch." But why do you need? And it's just like, okay, cool. But with with children. When you talk about suicide and death, they automatically assume that means, oh, I can trump this creator, I can um, talk about the people who are bullying me, I can talk about the ways I've hurt myself, and it's just like, no. You can talk about how you feel the same way and how potentially um, knowing that there's another person like this out there that you're and are reassured that you're not alone, but to just fucking trauma dump on me is I just probably take that instead. Um, to just trauma dump on me is not what that means. Uh, I don't know. It's like, <laughs> can you imagine like, oh, uh, I I like cars. Oh, does that mean I can like drive your car now? No, that does not mean what that does. That is not what that means. Uh, that's that's a horrible example, but my brain is still not very functional. Um, <laughs> I I can sound like everything's hey, alright, but my brain is still kind of foggy. If I'm being honest. 
But yeah, so with a younger audience and, like, you know, children having to get things approved by their parents, uh, I don't think the parents are going to like me. I'm going to say that right now. I think parents are... I think I'm going to be the the parents are like, wow, the creator is a bad influence. Uh, no, actually, fun fact about that, um, I... I refuse to drive because I'm so fucking suicidal, even if I'm not having a bad day, I might just say fuck it and drive off the cliff, or drive- If someone tries to cut me off, I will run into them. Um, so yeah, for safety reasons, I refuse to get my license. Um, I'm not sure how legal this is, but I can say that I know how to drive. Hold up, let me... Oh, wait, 20 frames? Whoa, that's pretty good for the nether, the fuck? Um, so yeah, uh, what I was saying was, uh, I, I don't drive because I know that I would, I would just straight up kill myself. Um, plain and simple, I would be dead. And, just because it's been a little bit, um, I do apologize for anyone who jumped into the stream not really expecting that kind of let talk, but, uh, Driving, I, I straight up would just kill myself. Um, regardless of if I'm happy or sad, I think I think that's just the way it's gonna go. And, uh, and then sometimes I tell people that and they're like, wow, that's maybe maybe we consider like in a month or two. Um Fun fact, I've I've said straight up I've said straight up that I was going to kill myself if I drive um since high school I think. So that's like at minimum, that's like three years of saying that I'll just kill myself if I learn how to drive. Um, but then we have uh, the fact that I actually know how to drive. I don't know how legal that is to drive without a, a license, but uh, I, I know I know how to if need be. Like if I if there's like a getaway thing and like I'm the only one who can drive, I am able to, you know. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what, what am I even talking about? Um, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's just, um... I... Hmm... I need to be careful of what I say. Not, not even because, um, I'm trying to be child-friendly, just because I don't know what I'm saying. Actually, I'm going to get laggy. Uh, I can see this, I'm going to... I turn up for a second. Yeah, so for the question, do I drive? No. Um, I don't. I don't think I should. Will. I'm being completely honest. To say, um, I remember I'll say it, but I think I just need to move on. Um, oh, yes. I feel like I know what I'm trying to say, but I, just, I don't know what. I'm <laughs> I don't have my license or anything. Um, and I don't think I'm going to get my license for that reason. Because, uh, well, fuck, you know. Ooh. The live stream says that we are unstable. Oh 
how many frames am I getting now? Because it said I had 20 earlier. Did it just... Yeah, it dropped down to 10. Ugh. But, uh, that's, oh, that's why, that's why I, um, am very good with busting and, like, <laughs> skateboarding. Uh, I used to, uh, as a, uh, this sounds so bad, uh, but I think that kind of gives you a glimpse of how I was as a child. Uh, as a child, once I got my bus pass, I kind of, like, went on random buses just to see where they went. So I got pretty good at using, um, <laughs> using buses, finding out which bus routes were faster, regardless of if it was on Google Maps saying that this a thing. Uh, that was also, uh, it was also, uh, the road in Ottawa connect. Because, um, Ottawa, if, I've said this before, Ottawa was just a bunch of towns that got observed with each other, so it has the town vibe for a, a good reason. Uh, uh, I just skated around a lot, and it was nice. It. Uh, you have to go to work now, alright, uh, 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 how did that happen? Um, I'm just gonna sit here, cause I think we're just lagging out of frames right now. Um, I hope you have a great day, uh, hopefully one day I can stream when you're not on your break, because dude, Pick just to relax, not see if I, I don't know. I, I just I I would have just watched like a YouTube video or something instead of being so interactive. It's like I do appreciate it. Like I'm not I'm not gonna say I don't, but like I feel like you could do so much more on your break than just watch me. <laughs> but yeah, but I think it's because we are, we're almost at the uh 130 mark. We Let's actually go back to this little hideaway so that the gas can't get to us. Um, Alright, so what I was saying was that um, I think what we're going to try to do is get to the nether fortress. Um, I do know where it is, you know, I am a fucking cheater. Um, I looked at it, it is... where is it? It is three hundred more blocks away. So, um, with that said, I think that will be the end. And then the next time I do the Minecraft videos, I'll um, do it. Uh, my new my current goal for my is to play Slender the Eight Pages. Um, it's not going to be a one-off thing. I am going to be playing it on several streams until I finish and get all eight pages, which might be hard. Granted that Minecraft is so fucking laggy. Do you think that? Do you, do you think that Slender gonna work? Probably not. Um, so, 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 that actually another go to extend the stream time just because. Originally I, originally, I had it so that I would stream, uh, two week confirmed, not like bi-weekly Tuesdays, so, like, it would be weekly Tuesdays and weekly Thursdays, but then I thought, you know, I think people would like it if I just had longer streams rather than, um, you know, more streams, because, you know, the ones that they are, are, are like, that they can't catch, then it's just, Oh, okay. Uh, I, I guess that's that's more content. I'm not going to be able to see. I don't know. Uh, I think I think I'm doing a good. Thing. But uh, obviously, I will ask people before the next goal, and uh, the next goal is going to be for keep getting thirty, and then we keep losing thirty. That's like, my big pet peeve for people to follow and on follow. Like, uh, if I don't think I'm going to be watching someone for a long time, I just don't follow them. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, do 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 do. What's it? It looks like uh, it, it really fucking looks like that. the lag is coming back. At it. Uh, of our survival, our low. Does she? I'm pretty sure we're above lava right now. And yeah, that's how much we turn, which is pretty horrible. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, as long as we don't deviate from the path, as long as we don't deviate, as long as we get negative four hundred and something. <laughs> oh, and for anyone who's still here, the next stream is on Tuesday, and I was planning potentially on Tuesday that we could, uh, because, uh, month, but then, you know, I, I had a little, uh, emotional breakdown. But, uh, if for anyone who's still here, Tuesday, we are doing, uh, the high tier listings. I'm not sure what teams we're doing yet. I still have to look at the website that they have. Um, case scenario, I just make my own. Worst case scenario, I just make my own tier list. Um, because if you didn't know, the tier listing things I do, um, they're presets. Uh, they're all, they're all pre-made. I'm just uh, remodeling them to be what I would Where she first just happens. Okay, um, I don't have anything to do with myself with. <laughs> so much lava. Ugh, hi. At least, uh, I can not jump in. Oh, hello. And by fighting this lava of magma cube, oh, uh, <laughs> why? That's a lot of you. Um, we are staying in one spot, which load in more of the world, which in turn. Anymore. Uh, I'm lagging the out fighting this bit. I think I'm lying to myself again. How the fuck am I blazing? This is how bad my cube is gonna be. Um, I did not think about. Uh, we might actually be fucked on stream. Alright, let's do this. <clears throat> okay, do you see how fucking close that was to me just dying in lava right there? Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, the first is right there. It's literally right there. Okay, we're in the stream soon. Fuck yeah. Uh, so as I was saying, so we might be doing high Q thing on. Day. It depends if Elliot 
be. Um, because if if Elliot is free, we might just do uh, Pico Park again. Uh, or maybe we'll just find a different day to do it. I think I want to do the tier listing though. And then afterwards, um, I know. I know we're going to take this the wrong way. Um, actually, can I go over there and block? I don't trust that. Um, the, another video that, uh, YouTube video and stream idea that I wanted to do was, uh, to do, uh, people, uh, people, uh, because, I, th I thought that was fun, it's a cool psychology thing, but because of my mental breakdown, I didn't want to do it and have people be like, oh, Thomas. I'm gonna make sure that I don't think that's a bad person. No, the the, the point of it is that you you tell me the truth. But people just like I had to wait, but I've been for like for I had it planned out since August. August <laughs> Did August. April. August. April. I had it planned out for one of them. Yeah, so what I'm going to do that is that I want everyone to uh, give me a and locked off. Oh, fuck, okay. We're not gonna do that. If we die in here, we die in there. Um, I want everyone to give me uh, and I'll go, like put it on a graph to see how people actually perceive me as like a collective thing, not just solo or anything. I, I think it's I think it's pretty cool. Um, uh, we are now in the fortress. Uh -huh. We are going to now go home. Uh, that's all I wanted to do. The, the only thing I wanted to do in the stream was to actually get here. Um, I have no problem waiting to the next time. past the 130 mark um so i hope everyone has enjoyed anyone who's looking i hope you're doing good too you don't have to respond i just want to, just want to say that you are appreciated for being here um uh my, my brain stopped working um uh, i really mark isn't only stream for one minute, one hour and thirty minutes. If that one hour is my minimum. Uh, I do Twitch in the same sense that I do everything right, organize it so that I'm doing the bare minimum. Um, just because I think streaming more stuff than my friends, uh, I usually I go by I mean, also, and how the background stuff works to be able to support them. Um, <laughs> so, with that, it's like, although, hey, if Twitch lifts off, it lifts off. But, um, I want people to understand that it's not my goal to be a stream for like an hour the first goal was like oh if you want me to stream longer than that, um 30 minutes, get me to 20 followers it's it's the sense of like cool if you get something when you follow me so i was like it's more personal like, yo you're only getting more content from me you're not getting like a scary spooky stream you're not getting to that um, it's just so that you know it's, it's it's still technically a reward, uh, but it's not the best reward I can give, and I know that. I did that purposely because I don't want people to, um, I don't want people to fixate on me. You know, I don't want people to be like, he's cool, he's the streamer. Because, uh, honestly, if I, if I want to be anything, honestly, I want to be a costume. I want to be a... 
So, I entered um, but streaming, uh, streaming seems a little too intimate for me. Uh, in the beginning part, but I don't know if you that. Uh, the intimacy of a little. Is we're gonna die. Oh, okay. We're actually going to die now. <laughs> um, why run there? Um, so what was I saying? Oh, I need to. Fuck, thank you. Uh. Oh. Um. It's a little too instant to, for me, and I. With older people, it's fine because they've lived. They know they can't get attached to random people online. But with like the newer audience, the younger generation, they have an experience. want people to just can be, you know streaming is very intimate it's not new knowledge so it's just like um, I just I just told uh, that they can't fixate on me that they can't see me as their favorite streamer um I say that in the see me as another creator. If, if they want to, I'm the favorite streamer. Then, uh, yay, I guess. Um, you're really traumatized, and you're latching on to me because you see hope. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, and we're running the other. I think it's this way. Let's push this way. Uh, if you see me, if you're more comfortable, uh, this this part is college at this point. Um, so someone. I'll, I'll put him towards the end of the stream. Uh, one of my contacts, uh, I've about, oh, no, I, no. So one of my contacts and I, um, we have very different platforms. In person, I'm the bubbly uh, kid one, and they are, they're so pretty friendly. They're just not family friendly. <laughs> um, <laughs> Our platforms is aggressive, uh, don't fuck with me type, and they are family friendly. They put that on their, uh, put that on their long way, fuck. They put, uh, family friendly shit on their, uh, thing. They, uh, I head out. Get. You son of a bitch. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, they, they are the, uh, family friendly one and I'm like the aggressive one, if you couldn't tell. Online. Online. Um, that, that was not in person. Sorry for saying that. But, uh, yeah. So online, they're family friendly and their audience knows them as family friendly. And I, I was on a few of the streams. I talked to them in chat, you know. Um, 
saw me the acting I never changed the uh, them asking me to. Uh, if I'm feeling aggressive or scary that day, I'm going to swear. Why I'm not on my streams anymore? <laughs> because they, they really. them as a is just like um I, I'm not gonna I hope this doesn't come off as like me trashing them but in voice calls when we're playing off stream they've they've literally said yeah don't worry about swearing I'm so though the creator is in person is not family friendly it's hard to be family friendly on their stream it's uh you know it's it feels like i'm lying even though i'm not the one who's it's not my stream it's why did i do that to myself why did why did why did i i don't know so yeah so uh on this stream you know family friendly uh good vibes yada 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 uh a few of their followers would uh look at me and were like oh that's cool let's follow him well i don't change the way i, act. I don't do anything different from the way i normally act so it's like they come on to it's not your fault no 100% the fault for doing the wrong thing uh they did it's like uh up did someone just say hello that what the fuck was that? Uh, that does not sound like anyone who... I might actually uh, get murdered uh, after the end stream. Oh god. Um, so yeah, um, someone went to my chat. They were doing stuff that I didn't like, so I told them to SCFU. Um, if you do that harshly, then you do that harshly. If you don't take that harshly, then you don't. Um, because people fight each other all the time. And it's usually lighthearted. You're actually... If you care about the person you take that as a light-hearted thing you don't go straight for are you being mean and so like they they try to be fit to me they try to act like a baby and you know what that it's fair because on my contact stream and my contacts friend stream um they treat this person like their baby so i'm baby shit but i don't do that shit on my streams i don't even know that person they've only ever talked to me on stream and the, the few times that we've talked, we've always clashed heads. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking when they decided to say things I didn't like. Like, you've been through this. Been through this. So, yeah, they followed me. They had a fit. And, yeah, that's why I have the whole highlight thing being like, yo, don't follow me if you're following me for another creator. Um... So, yeah, that was a thing. Oh, they actually, it's, it's the fact that they asked me on my contact stream if they were allowed back in my chat. When I was I was doing secret streaming at the time, they had every single day to ask me, Twitter to DM or like at me. They had they even had Discord at the time to ask me, and they did nothing. They when they waited until I was on my contact stream to ask me. And I feel like, maybe it was just poor planning on their part, but I feel like that was because they thought they were like, Yeah, it's fine. We're on, we're on this stream. I have to be nice to you. No. I'm myself or anyone. And if you're really going to be a douchebag, then you're going to be a douchebag. Like, fuck. So, I never remember you. If you wanted me to ban you, I can ban you, but you were never banned. To be like, oh, am I so bad? Bitch, don't, don't talk because you know I'm not. I'm thinking about it. You know, give them what they want. Give the audience what they've been asking for. I might just go go into uh, my... I don't know the username. I might go into my friend's chat and like look at the username and then ban them on my chat. 
Because hey, if you if you say that I'm if you I'm am I banned still, uh, you you'll be banned, I guess. You know. What Ollie does, if you ask to be banned or talk about being banned, I'm just gonna probably ban you. OBS. Uh, reset transform. Oh god, not there. Uh, for anyone who didn't hear me just now because of the uh, lag, we are going to be just chatting a little bit more. Um, let me just change the thing chatting again let me fix my overlays because this is still very new to me uh center screen okay then mm -hmm. oh did i have it 800 actually that makes more sense Do, 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 All right, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, I hope that little last part wasn't too ranty. Basically, to, uh, loop around, um. So, uh, because I'm only doing this for my friends, it's really shitty when my friends and my contacts are like, oh. When their followers are like, oh. Let me treat them like the other streamer. Let me treat it's just. I don't. I I seriously don't change the way I act on other people's streams. I'm very loud and aggressive on my friends and contact streams. So it's just like, even though they're family friendly, there's literally no indication that I'm gonna be like that or act like that. So the fact that you're following me, talking to me as if I'm like them. The fact that you're doing the whole I'm baby shit, when I've made that very clear that I don't like doing the whole I'm baby shit. Um, that's your own fault, dude. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that that was that was a trip. Um, so, yeah, I don't really plan on doing streaming as like a, a thing. If it lifts off, then, you know, I don't throw away a good thing. But um, I've already had people... Uh, just looking at me as their favorite streamer, not as a favorite streamer, but they are like a pre-existing personality. And that, that was just never, never my intention. And it, it just, who, who looks at someone and it's like, I know you have a personality, but I'm going to strip that away and make, sh and just associate you with this person instead. Like, I'm sorry. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it, it does, you know, it helped. It's shitty that it happened, but you know, at least now I have the uh, the highlight telling you not to follow me because of other creators. Now I know um, I can't associate myself with that contact. And um, if, uh, if my contact is watching this, I'm not, I don't know. I might just clip. Mm, clip is bad. Nah. I'll just. I'll just. Because they know that I haven't been talking. <laughs> Hold on. They know I haven't been talking to them recently. It's very clear that neither of us are really making an effort. But the reason why I'm not making the effort is because children are watching us. The the bigger part are both our platforms are children, not people our age, not people older but children finding new people to fixate on. So until people can realize, yo, we're not the same people and we're not going to act the same because we know each other, I can't associate with them. <laughs> because, fuck. I, 
I can't do family friendly. I can't care about everyone. I refuse to care about everyone when I don't know everyone. But it's already happened where I'm I'm associated with the family friendly person, so people in their chat come here thinking family friendly, despite me not doing any of that. So um, until honestly, I feel, I feel like people on my chat who come for, for, from me understand that, but it's the people on their chat who are who don't know. Um, and I 100% am blaming the fact that no one is brought up the correct way. No one is taught how to function and no one knows exactly that you can't just fixate on people and just associate and just group people together. I get maybe with like with the fandoms that the this contact is in, the personalities are pretty similar. Um with the Minecraft YouTubers, they're all just Annoy annoying teenage boys. I don't give a fuck. They are annoying teenage boys in my eyes. Um, so yeah, you can you can pretty much group them together so they get the assumption that you can group everyone else together. Like, oh, family friendly streamer. I guess all their friends are also family friendly. No, that that is not the case. Um. So yeah, I can't associate with them until their platform matures, or I have more people in my chat to be like, yo, shut the fuck up. Thomas is not this contact. Um, but talking about contacts, Jonah Scott, the voice actor, um, I popped into one of his streams because I I knew he was a streamer, but I haven't actually watched them. But then I saw the tweet, so I was like, yo, I can actually catch this one. Um, immediately, he talks about boundaries and like drugs and like everything that just hits the spot for me. Like, people who can talk about People who can talk about boundaries and stuff, but still keep the vibe, like, hyped up. I love them, and I envy them. <laughs> because, before, back when, um, back when I was just seeing TikTok and Instagram, uh, I tried to do that, where I was like, yo, um, th that's not something I like, but, you know, I kept the happy voice, I kept, you know, the vibe. But, uh, people would be, people would keep the energy, be like, ha! It's, it's just a joke, you know? Or it's like, haha, it's not too serious. It's like, no, but like, this is something I want. It's just like, shut the fuck up. Like, I've had 11 year olds come me in my chat, like, but I'm mature. And I like, because I'm not trying to be real, like, haha, you're still 11, that's not legal. You're not even supposed to be on this app. And they're like, I'm so mature for my age, though. Don't worry about it. Just, just, just don't worry, okay? Like, no, shut the fuck up. You're not supposed to be here. Like, this isn't like a ha-ha, let's toss this around. You're not legally supposed to be here. And you really shouldn't be making those kind of comments at me. Uh, the, this 11-year-old specifically was um, thirsting over me. And yes, at that time, I was an adult. Um, my entire uh, TikTok career, I was an adult. I was an adult, actually. So uh, it was illegal, regardless of when you saw me. Um, so yeah, I was... so. Uh, I've had it in the past where I tried to keep it lighthearted and stuff, but no one takes me seriously. So I, so now that's why I do the thing where I completely stop the fucking stream and just start. I lash out at them because if you're not, if people aren't going to listen to me being calm, then I'm just gonna go flat out aggressive. I will kill the vibe if it means that you get this to your fucking skull. And you know, a few people have told me, but you know, Twitch is a different platform. You should try it the other way. I did. The contacts, the contacts follower that I had did not pass the fucking vibe track, so I had to be fucking aggressive with them. Um, but yeah, that's why I like Jonah Scott, because he's able to set boundaries to be like, yo, dude, that's not cool. And everyone respects that. And I don't know, I guess it's just the fact that people don't respect me and just see me as an object to be used, but, uh... <laughs> I, I do I do want to eventually strive to, for the fact that I can just exist and not have to change the vibe for people to actually listen to me. Uh, See where Viking actually does that too, where he's like, yo, if you don't want to be here, then just don't be here. But he says it in such a nice way, and it's just like, I envy people who can be nice and listen to. Because so many people look at me and they do the classic, you know, taking kindness for weakness thing. 
But yeah, uh, that got fucking deep for some reason. I am going to be ending the stream, blocking that contact's friend, uh, follower, and uh, probably, I probably go to bed. Honestly, I've been tired lately. Oh, actually, it's almost Jesus Christ! It's almost three. Um, but anyone in chat, uh, I do post to YouTube. I actually do plan to stop doing YouTube videos in uh 2022 but for now i am doing weekly uploads and the video actually comes out in uh seven minutes so there's that um i also talked about tiktok earlier because that's where my platform stems from and if you want any of my links just hash uh exclamation point oh i took the uh links here we are Ta -da! and just in case i i made this last stream um I made it last stream where it was like I was in such a bad mood and a lot of people kept trying to cheer me up but I don't know what it is about me. People can't seem to just be happy for me or say nice things about me unless it relates to my looks. So in the future because I know I'm gonna get this um, I have exclamation point smile and Thomas will smile when you shut the fuck up. I love that. Um, I didn't realize that that was a comma. I'm going to have to change that because that's that's annoying me. But yeah, that's there for everyone who fucking focuses. Seriously, seriously, like when when I got into my skating accident, so many people were like, "Oh, I hope it heals." I, they weren't even like, "Yo, I hope that fucking heals and you don't have a gaping hole in your fucking nut head." Um, they're like, "Wow." You, you ruined your pretty face. I really hope it heals so that you don't look ugly. I really hope it heals so that you're still pretty. Like, what the fuck? Why can't you just say, I hope it heals, end of story? Why do you need to bring up the fact that I you want me to look pretty still? Um, anyway, so yeah, that's there. Um, it's probably my favorite command I have. And in case you need it, um, I have more commands. Uh, command? Or is it commands? Command? Yeah. Here we are. That's all my commands, uh, but without, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Next stream is on Tuesday, and I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoy what's to come.